Hello and welcome to Mixlaws PT. Today, I am going to give you a tutorial. The two apps we are using today are Zapato and CapCut. I hope this video helps. Also don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. First, open Zapato. Then dress up your avatar if you haven't already. Next, click on the Create button below. Then, select the dance you want to create. Then click on Background. Make sure to use the green screen, that will help with adding a shadow later. Then, resize your avatar if you want to. Then, save your video. Next, find a picture that you can use as a background. I'm using a Neon Dance Studio from Google. Next, open CapCut and import the picture. Then change the format of the video to 916. Then resize the picture to fit the ratio of the video. Next, delete the automatic CapCut ending. Then make the picture last longer. Next, Click on Overlay and select the video you created. Select the overlaid video and click on Cutout. Next click on Chroma Key. Then, drag the circle that pops up to a green area in the video. Then adjust the intensity and shadow settings. Next click on the copy button, then drag the copied video directly under the other one. Next click the video clip on top and move it away from the other one. Next, click on the adjust button and do as follows. I've seen you in a movie, I heard you in a song Now I know that this will never go wrong Like you already knew me, that's why we get along Yeah, I know that this will never go Ooh, it's cinematic in the way we connected Girl, you're so familiar, I never expected you To be right in my arms, in my favorite part How you talk in the dark, oh god, there's Something about the sound of you is stuck in my head I'm Then adjust the shadow to be under the avatar Next, click on Opacity and adjust it to 50. Next, play the video to see if the shadow fits perfectly, adjust if it doesn't by adding keyframes. Then click this button and adjust settings for smoother video playback. Then add filters if you want to.
I recommend the Inception filter. Next of your audio. Just audio clip. Next did some video effects if you want to. Note, if you add any effects, it would only affect the background. When you're done, export the video. Then import the newly edited video into a new project. Don't forget to delete the default CapCut ending. Adjust these settings once more for smoother playback. You can now add video effects that will affect the whole video, including the avatar. I recommend adding the filter you used again. Once you're done, export your video. I hope this video helped. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. See you next time.